Uh, so I went home last night and was thinking about this awesome, fantastic moped and realized I forgot to put the freaking exhaust on. Um, I've got a busy morning this morning. I've got to do a brake job on the Jag. Which means uh, all of this has got to get cleared out so I can bring the Jag in. And me and the kids are going out at around noon, so it's 6 a.m. Um, I got up early and came in here early. I'm going to finish this up just by putting the exhaust on. I might do a couple other little tweaky things, putting the, you know, zip tying some of this stuff and, uh, and tightening up the brakes. Just getting it almost perfect. Uh, as far as exhausts go, you know, there's, there's a couple different kinds of pook cylinders. There's what's called a flat cylinder and an angled cylinder. Um, that's talking about the, the angle of the exhaust port. The 65 metric kit has the flat exhaust port, which is more like a maxi. Um, magnums come with an, with a, with a, an angled exhaust port. So, um, when you're buying exhausts, you have to know what kind of uh, port your, your, uh, your cylinder kit has. You know I've been wanting to leave this stock looking. And to that end, I bought this Techno pipe. First off, it's not expensive. I think it's under 40 bucks. Second off, it looks just like a stock Maxi exhaust. Except it's huge. It's 28 millimeters across up here. Um, it's, it's baffled, right? So there's certainly a performance gain on this. Uh, probably not as much as like if I put a sim pipe on here or something, you know, something really nice. But then I also lose that stock look and feel. I think I'm going to have to do some... Uh, some messing around over here to get it to properly amount on this back um, area, but yeah, otherwise it should go on pretty darn easy. And look stockish, although it doesn't look like a stock Magnum exhaust, it's close enough that it still looks pretty darn good. I should have put these studs in. When I had the cylinder on the bench, but oh well. Hindsight is 50 50. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. Getting the Tomos out because after I get the Jag in here, if I've got to run to the auto store, this is my ride. <laughs> Alright, today's the day. I'm starting her up, or at least I'm going to try to start her up. Uh, I've got her off of the stand right now. I'm just going to make sure that everything feels right. Uh, I'll put her back up on the stand in a little bit uh, and, and finish her off, tighten up the brake cables. Just last, last little finishing touches. But right now I have her off just so I can see if I need to adjust the handlebars or, or anything else. As I always like to do when I get to the end of a project, I made up a list of everything left to do. I've got my, uh, my box of jets here. I think I'm going to put a, a 76 in here to start. 
my gut tells me that's about right, but um, it's probably at the at the richer side, which is good. That's what I want to start this up with. Uh, also, I have this filter. It's just foam with some metal screen inside, um, and I'll I'll hold it on with a clamp. Um, I sprayed it with some oil so it'll pick up the fine particulates. Uh, the reason I want to use this is just so I can I can squeeze it underneath that side uh, panel. Um, if I had a real filter, I would have to cut that panel up even more. So there we go. Seventy-eight. Seventy-six. Got it. Alright, I don't know actually, now that I put this thing on, I'm not sure it's gonna pull all my air in that I need, but we'll find out. Next are brakes. I also put a better bolt in that back exhaust bracket. That's not going anywhere. Feels freaking good to me. Alright, now I'm going to spend about a half an hour just going around and making sure that every single nut and bolt is torqued down to specs and I'm gonna put um, some Loctite on a lot of them uh, I'm not even gonna record it it's gonna take half an hour and then I'll come back and continue the list all right time to put some gas in I hope she doesn't leak Okay, no leaks. You know what that means. Let's just kick her over and see what happens. Headlights don't work. <laughs> yeah, the headlights don't work and there's a leak out of the head gasket. Uh, that's not going to stop me from taking it for a quick ride though. <laughs> I'm going to tighten down this head a little bit more. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think I found the problem. <laughs> uh, some dumbass didn't tighten the spark plug in. Super rich, but that's okay. We want to get some lube in there, so I'll let it run rich for this little trip I'm taking. Come back and I'll pull about four off of those jets. I'm at 76. I'll, I'll come back and do a 72 to see what happens.
she is definitely not riding correctly. Ah, the pedal of shame! All right, so the first off, she's running super rich. So I'm gonna down jet quite a bit. Second off, there is a huge leak coming out of the head gasket. I gotta pull that off and take a look at it. Uh, if I need a new gasket, I'm gonna have to order something because I don't have one. Not for the 44 millimeter bore. I've got a 38 millimeter bore that I might could get in there and and hog out a bit, but it's probably not going to solve my issue. Anyway, okay, um, I'll I'll be taking a look and see what the heck's going on. I'll come back and let you know. But she started right up, didn't she? There's a decomp hole on this uh, on this cylinder. And I had a gasket that I thought kind of sealed it up, but I don't think it did, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to at least pull it off and look at that decomp hole and see how I can plug it up. We'll, we'll find out, but I do got to take this whole damn thing off. That's the thing. <laughs> wasn't sealing that. You can totally see. Look how it leaked, right? Okay, I, uh, I got the metric kit off. Um, I got those studs, those exhaust studs out. What a pain in the ass that was. I ended up having to weld a, a nut on top of them to back them out. Huge colossal pain in my ass. The head gasket leak is coming from this little uh, decomp hole that's in here. I thought I had a gasket that blocked it, but it's not doing a very good job of it. So I bought these little set screws, and I think I'm gonna tap this hole out and set maybe two of these set screws in there, and, and then epoxy it up um, with some high temp metal epoxy, and then I'll sand it flat, um, so that it's totally invisible and gone. So anyway, um, to tap a hole, uh, if you've never tapped before, you know, you have very specific hole sizes for this is a six millimeter tap I'm using for this guy. Um, the hole size for a six millimeter tap is, um, is five millimeters. This thing's 5.17 millimeters according to my uh, micrometer. So uh, I'd say it's close enough. So I'm gonna throw a little oil on there and start tapping. I'm just taking it all the way, th oh shit. <laughs> I'm just taking it all the way through. Um, it goes all the way into the exhaust. So I'm just gonna go ahead and thread it all the way down and in. All right, I got some treats coming in tomorrow, and I should be able to put this whole damn thing back together again. Um, but before I do that, I want to seal off this uh, this decomp hole. So I got some uh, some red high temp thread locker, and and I also got this this metallic paste. My thought is is I'll fill in the hole and then take the whole thing onto the surface plate and get it perfectly flat and then it'll be like it'll be like that decomp never never existed. Um, I think I'm gonna put two of those set screws in just to fill up the hole entirely. Get one that's almost all the way down to the exhaust and then another one in there and then seal it all up. Anyway this should take exactly four minutes.
I'm wearing gloves because for some reason, Loctite, like when it hits my skin, I get these like bubbles on my skin. My, my skin does not like whatever's in this crap. Methacrylic esters is what it is. My skin doesn't like those. Okay, now I got this JB Weld metal paste. Extreme heat up to 2400 degrees. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna hit 2400 degrees. So, uh, so that's a good thing. It looks good. I mean, I'm gonna sand that back. But I think I'm gonna try to fill in the, um, that little area inside the exhaust too. Maybe. Try not to. Hold on. Let me shove this in here because I don't want to get <laughs> any of this crap on the cylinder wall. Alright. Tomorrow I'll come back and sand that and we should be good to go. I think my treats will come in tomorrow too. Hey. <laughs> uh, this is dried up. It's been about three days. I got sick as a dog. Um, I'm, I'm still recovering, but uh, I'm, I'm good enough to get some quality moped time. I've got my surface plate out uh, and some thousand grit and then also some two thousand grit. I'm gonna go ahead and, and flatten this off where the, uh, the epoxy is just to get it a perfectly flat surface. And then it's time to install. clean this thing up then we're ready to go all right sweet and now something new I was using the uh, the stock Magnum head on this, but Treats was wanting to run into 20% off sale, and this is like 50 bucks, and then 20% off, so like 40 bucks. Uh, I honestly I couldn't pass it up. It's a custom cut for the Metra kit. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. How nice is that? All right, let me get torque wrench. Well, wait a minute, let's spin this. Make sure I'm not hitting anything. Feeling good. Nine foot pounds. There it is. There it is. freaking gorgeous outside. I don't have the door open yet, but I'm going to. Um, since it's so pretty, I'm going to dial this bike in. Uh, I still haven't gotten the jets quite right. At least I hope that's what it is, because it's not running like I want it to run. Uh, I've got my, my jets, you know, probably 50 different Bing jets. Uh, I've got all brand new spark plugs. Um, not just for this bike, but I'm going to put some new spark plugs in all my bikes. But for this one, I've got at least three that I can do some good plug chops on. So, um, so that's what I'm going to do. i got my magnifying glass so my old ass eyes can read a, 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 a size on a jet. And I'm just going to be flipping these out. I'm not even going to show it. 
I'm just going to flip them out and I'll come back and let you know what the, uh, what the magic combination was. Okay, as you might have guessed, it's been a little while since I filmed that last little bit you saw. Um, what had happened was this and this and this and also this. I promise you, it's still me. I know the beard makes me look 10 years older, but it's still the same one. That's me. <laughs> it's magnificent. And uh, last time I grew a beard, it was about four or five years ago, and it was blonde. And this time, it's, uh, it's gray. I guess that's what being in your 40s will do to you. Anyway, there have been some changes to this bike since you last saw it. As I was dialing this bike in, uh, I, I, I had that bing tuned and jetted the way I thought it should be and I was doing about 30 miles an hour and uh, and that doesn't cut it and uh, I think some of it was the carb and some of it was this stockish maxi pipe I have on here um, so being the Makuni fanboy that I am I I ordered a Makuni VM18 and I, I threw it on here um, I didn't record that but uh, but here it is, and it's fairly dialed in uh, for the stockish maxi pipe, although I am going to have to rejet. And why is that? Well, it's because treats came in. So now that I've got the Makuni tuned and jetted, she's doing about 39 miles an hour. And I will say that the brakes suck. Uh, takes about a football field to slow down to come to a stop from uh, from from 40 miles an hour so I got some new brake shoes I'm hoping that's going to solve my issue it probably should uh, I don't know if I'm going to put those on today I'll probably do the front the fronts are the worst I can totally squeeze that brake and and move the the front tire still so um, that's that needs to be done today I'm going to do that um, the other things I got, I got some, uh, some new idle jets for the Makuni. Um, you'll notice that I had to, uh, completely cut this side panel. I hated to do it, but it had to be done. And honestly, after that last mod I made to it, it was so floppy up front that as I was driving, it was peeling back. So, um... So I really messed up a month ago when I cut it the first time. So uh, this just makes it official. I, I jacked this thing up. So it is, it is now cut back to here, which gives me room for an air filter, which will go just like so. Um, and then the big boy. So, as much as I'm a Makuni fanboy, I am also a, a Homoet pipe fanboy. And uh, I love those things, but unfortunately for the last couple of years, you haven't been able to get them. I think I could probably still get it if I ordered it from a, a European website, uh, but, but here in the States, I've, I've given up hope. So, after doing some research, uh, I found out that a lot of people call the treats um, pipe, pook pipe, is kind of loosely based and per performs like a homoet. So, so daddy bought one. Thing's huge, but I think it's gonna bolt right up and look the part. And then I think I'm gonna have to do some rejetting on my carb. And then I think we'll probably get up into that upper 40s speed that I'm trying to get to. Uh, that's why it's really important that I at least flip out those brake shoes today. Because <laughs> if I'm doing 48 miles an hour, there's no way I'm stopping it anytime soon. So, anyway, I think this is going to be 
what we call the finale on this. I'm going to flip out these parts. I'm going to tune the carb. I'm going to probably do a couple more plug chops on it after I have it on just to make sure I have the thing dialed in. Then I'll strap on the GoPro and uh, we'll go for a ride. That thing looks mean as shit. All right. Uh, I've never done this before. This is my first time ever flipping out brakes. So, uh, so I'll figure it out as I go. There it is. <laughs> All right, GoPro's on. It's a beautiful day. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, yeah, she sure looks pretty. But is she fast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she is. I thought it'd be a good idea to just to take y'all on a, a tour of Norfolk while I'm out test riding the new bike. Man, do I love passing cars on my moped. I think a lot of it is that, um, that pipe, the mid-range on it. I mean, 20 to 40 on that bike is so ridiculously fast and, and, and smooth. My, my little brother rode it, and when he came back, he said, you know, if... if if mopeds are supposed to feel like this, then I've been building mine wrong. And I gotta say, it is. It's the smoothest, nicest accelerating moped I've, I've ever had. On the left here, behind that big building, is my old uh, house that we just moved from. I'm still sad to leave the downtown area because of cobblestone streets and gas lights it's it's kind of awesome down there uh, downtown norfolk has its own battleship that you can tour uh, it's the wisconsin and uh it's it's awesome um you can really get some some good views in downtown it's weird when you look down a road and uh, there's a huge battleship at the end of the road but uh yeah i've always really liked it i like to keep these episodes around the 20 minute mark which i've, I've failed on this one obviously what that means is that i sometimes have to leave out a lot of footage uh, specifically in this episode 
Uh, I spent about 10 or 15 hours rewiring the whole bike after I had already had it built. Um, but that doesn't make for great video, so I left it out. Uh, I also have a lot of footage of me playing with the timing. I've never had a moped that was so responsive to timing, meaning I can change a lot about the behavior of the bike with very small tweaks of timing. As you're seeing right now, I'm doing a, a speed run, and I've got the GPS going, and I'm happy to report that I hit 47.2 miles per hour. But I've had the bike over 50. If I barely retard the timing, I can get this thing over 50 easy, but it becomes kind of a turtle off the line. Similarly, if I advance the timing, this thing flies off the line, but then tops out around 40 or 42 miles per hour. And what you're looking at is a happy medium. So I guess I'll end off this episode by saying I really appreciate y'all watching this thing. And, uh, and I love the bike. Uh, I'm sure if you've been watching, you know I fall in love with these things as I'm working on them. And uh, this one's no exception. I'll be, I'll be riding this thing all summer. Um, I have started my next moped project. And I'll be uploading those shortly. I think I'll leave it as a surprise until uh, the first episode comes out. So I'll just instead say Arrivederci and thanks for watching and leave you with the face of a happy, happy man. <laughs>